Alright everybody, if you can remember to smack that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and there is a link to my PayPal account. Donations are always appreciated. Alright, welcome back everybody. It is Malik, and we're going to hit basic plus level 2. Now this is going to be a much quicker one, because uh, as soon as we go in we get an error message. Uh, so again, if you like the videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and again, donations are, are always appreciated. There will be a link, or there was a link, uh, to my PayPal account where you can donate even a buck is, you know, is, is so much help when it comes to, to keeping this channel up. Um, I know I was out for a while, had a lot of things going on, but I think I'm back again, so... But let's go ahead and bust in here to basic plus level two. Uh, immediately we get an error on user agent not accepted. Only secure user agent is allowed. Now there's multiple ways around this. It depends on the browser you're using. I'm using Firefox. Uh, it works for Chrome. It works for Internet Explorer. It just works in different ways so what I would suggest you do is uh, go ahead and Google user agents to understand those and then how to change the user agent depending on what browser you're using it, to make it simple a user agent is nothing more than in this case our browser uh, we're, we're on the internet we're making a connection with the server uh, we are the user agent. Our browser is the user agent. When we try to connect to the server, we are being denied because we're not being read as a secure user agent. And this is going to, this is a client side test. So how do we fold the server into thinking we are a secure user agent? So Google user agents read up a little bit on those you can understand those again it's very simple it's really just the application and then how do you change your user agent <clears throat> excuse me depending on what browser you're using again i'm in firefox i'll do mine a little bit differently unless you're using firefox too so i'll give you a minute to do that we'll jump back in we'll do it incredibly fast and We'll be able to head on to basic level three. Okay. So, again, I'm in Firefox. There is a plug-in with Firefox as well as with Chrome. Um, and just to kind of show you, let's let's say I was using uh, Chrome, um, and I'll just go to Google and I'll say change user agent in Chrome. There you go. How to change the user agent in Chrome? How to change the web browser user agent? Changing the user agent in Google Chrome. How to change the user agent in Chrome. User agent spoofing. How to change user agent, i.e. Firefox, Opera, etc., etc. Read any of those. They give you step-by-step -step on how to do it. Now, again, I'm in Firefox. <clears throat> I have a button up here called User Agent Switcher. I can click on that. Now, I can pretend I'm coming from mobiles, from any other desktop browser, and even for any operating system. But you'll notice, now I'm running Firefox. What if I say I'm running Chrome uh, from, I'll just keep it on Windows, and click the refresh button that reloads this tab. Well, you see I get the same error. Because when Chrome pushes the information over it's still a user agent it is not a secure user agent okay 
So we need to modify these agents. So I did this a second ago and my video crashed on me so you can see mine's already set up. But I'm going to keep it Firefox. I'm going to keep it Windows. But I'm going to go into Edit. This is where you can type in whatever you need. And all I do is I type in secure underscore user underscore agent and say OK. They told us exactly what we needed. Way too much information. They should not have told us that. But since they did, we know how to set up our client side. We know what they're looking for. So now we know what to fake. Now that I've changed that, if I reload the page, I am in. It's that straightforward. Now, just so you know, once you start playing with agent switching, it's going to hold it. So it's always going to think I'm a secure agent. Uh, in the case of Firefox, <coughs> I can just click this button here to switch back to my default user agent. So now I'm just a regular, it's regular Firefox now. So <clears throat> it's basically a plugin. We could do it with a parameter up here at the top, uh, but to me, this is so much easier to do. Like I mentioned in the last video, there's more than one way to do these things. Um, people will write me and say, why'd you do it that way? I did it this way. And that's perfectly fine. If it worked for you, go for it. Um, some people like to do parameter tampering uh, through uh, a script or, you know, rather than do it through a plugin. Um, and that's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter how you get the job done, just as long as you get the job done. Okay, so told you that was a, a quick one uh, the next one will be a little bit longer I took a look at it I know what they're gonna ask for and I know where we're gonna have to go so it's gonna require some setup um, but we'll get to that one all right so I appreciate you guys watching and and sticking with me uh, I will see you shortly with basic plus level three